This is 1997 Lincoln scent with double dye obverse. So called double deer variety. Graded in mint state 67 red by PCGS with FS 101 designation. The 1997 double deer variety is characterized by a doubling of the earlobe on Abraham Lincoln's portrait on the obverse, heads, side of the coin. This doubling is visible on the lower part of Lincoln's ear, making it look like he has two distinct lobes. This variety is relatively subtle and might not be immediately noticeable to the naked eye. However, it has become quite popular among coin collectors due to its distinctive nature and the fact that it's relatively easy to identify once you know what to look for. This pristine red gem featuring immaculate lustrous surfaces with very minor imperfections ended up selling for $1,020. Number 6. This is 1996 Lincoln Scent Struck on a 1996 P. Roosevelt Dime Planchet. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. Obverse die struck reverse of the dime and reverse die vice versa. This double denomination coin ended up selling for $4,080. Number 5. 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 65 plus with full steps. By PCGS. According to NGC, it seems that the San Francisco Mint discontinued its former practice of repolishing worn dyes to remove heavy erosion lines. These are freely seen on many 1953s nickels, though these same coins may have brights and superficially pleasing luster. Perhaps this accounts for a fair number of certified gems, but these coins are unlikely to satisfy the sophisticated collector who values sharpness of strike and early die state. This full steps nickel ended up selling for $7,143.75 with buyer's fee. Number 4. Here is 1942 Washington Quarter in PR68 condition. The brilliant centers of this gem proof quarter are surrounded by concentric halos of crimson, blue, and sea green, elliptical in nature on the obverse and perfect circles on the reverse. It ended up selling for $8,225. Number 3. Here is 1982 bronze scent with small date design. Graded in mint state 67 plus red by PCGS. 1982 was the transitional year for the small scents, when the composition was changed from copper alloy to copper plated zinc. Both mints issued small date and large date varieties. The obverse of this gem has rich violet toning over its bright orange luster, while the reverse is brilliant orange as struck. It ended up selling for $9,987.50. Number 2. This is 1964 Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66. Highly sought after repunched D over D Mint Mark. The repunching is clear with a loop but may escape detection by the unaided eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny, with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. Number 1. Here is 1941 D. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. The 1941 D. Washington Quarter, with a mintage approaching 17 million coins, is fairly common through the gem and premium gem levels, but at the superb gem rank, the population thins dramatically. This MS-68 example radiates vibrant luster from both obverse and reverse. Deep purple, forest green, orange gold, and yellow gold toning covers the right, upper, and lower obverse borders, leaving the remaining areas mostly brilliant. The same color palette occurs on the reverse, but is much more confined to the right and lower margins. This elusive gem ended up selling for $20,700. That's all folks. Stay tuned to CoinOz for getting frequent updates from various prestigious coin auctions. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like buttons. God's will, see you in the next episode.